Hey, how's it? Uh, I was uh, I'm in the next part now, and I was explaining um, not so much my decision to leave TikTok. I already did that. I, I started getting abused there. I got bewitched by some chick who initially followed me. She put witchcraft on me. She initially followed me, uh, decided to write me an email, and then afterwards, uh, and I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing this. God has been showing me TikTok looking like um, a dark, like the top, you know that TikTok musical um, logo. I have seen it shrouded in so much darkness and cr like cracking. Like, have you ever taken a Coca-Cola can and put it in your hands after you've finished drinking it, I guess, and started to crush it? You know how it, it grooves in on all sides and you can no longer find its uh, proper, like, spherical shape again. Uh, and it's all crushed. I, I had a dream where um, the TikTok dance thingy, the, uh, the logo, yeah, thingy, was crushed. It was, It looked like... I, I can that was crushed almost like God showing me irrevocably it will never be the same again in the space for you and that was him showing me Hore as, as edifying as you are as haughty as the work that you do in me is to, to, to raise up in godliness it is in an environment where people get out of your space and they roam around a, a very dark environment that is it, it it's it's nebulous it, it takes them over it's like Pokemon I used the, an, the example yeah Pokemon and uh, Dragon Ball Z, back in the day when I was growing up, Tamagotchi, these things that are exported from China and they have got magnetic forces, they've got magic powers in them that causes addiction to this particular thing uh, to a point where people can fight over it. It makes people manifest darkness. I don't know how many times on the school playground my friends and I have fought over this Tamagotchi game. And I don't know how many times teachers, like there was even a whole uh, drive in my school where uh, teachers were like trying to get Tamagotchi's banned from being brought to school. It, like at all, even during lunch, because the level of uh, attention or like you couldn't pay, the kids could not focus in, in class. Whenever the teacher would go and take a bathroom break or whatever, the kids would be in their Tamagotchis and not doing their work. They would also, under the desks, take it out just to like see how the Tamagotchi is doing, to clean it up, to wipe it, to do whatever, and then put it back in. It was distracting kids from focusing at school, and it was also causing lots of wars. Like Ndindwa would break out on the school playground because of issues regarding these Tamagotchis that these kids had. And the kids who did not have them because their parents couldn't afford them or whatever, they were, or they were constantly feeling left out or whatever out of this trend. So if something, it was essentially this thing that was unleashing demonic entities in the school atmosphere. And it was making children hostile and a little bit more aggressive towards each other alongside short-circuiting in their attention spans. They were not consuming content anymore, information. They were no longer learning at the pace with which they were supposed to learn. And as you know, when you infiltrate kids at that little young level, when a nation brings in a toy into another country to do that to children, they're taking away future doctors. They're taking away future scientists. They're taking away future astronauts. They're taking away future of teachers they're taking away the future of the land and to get to the kids so young is always a satanic strategy and china has been doing this for a minute it has been targeting kids for the longest amount of time weakening the youth of a nation so that it will not be a strong um adult force do you understand what i'm saying yeah that is what in the world is going on uh go tiktok so the the, the the environment the atmosphere first of all i spoke about how addictive tiktok videos are you you watch it from the beginning to the end first of all even if it's not the kind of stuff you're trying to watch and even when you scroll down rarely ever do you scroll away do you just like keep scrolling scrolling and then i'm like ah, oh, i'll watch this you literally watch everything that they show you whatever it is that is being shown on the for you page you will watch it you will watch it even if it's not what you want and who you follow does not even dictate what they recommend to you and they patronize religious groups or Christians, I guess. In this case, I'm speaking about my particular uh, niche. They patronize them by saying, but we've allowed you to be on our platform. Do you? But the strategy is to flood your audience as a Christian with so much, uh, so many other kinds of random, useless, fluffy videos that they will cloud and the gospel message in them with a tornado until it is snuffed out.
It gets taken away. The parable of the sower. I did a video explaining that that like this the, the the videos before this batch. I was unpacking whether or like a whole series in trying to help people to see if they they saved that on. And I unraveled the parable of the sower. And I recommended people to go and listen to Charles Spurgeon's version of it as well, where I spoke about you know there like there's one particular group where the seed lands and it lands on the path and the devil comes and snatches it straight away. And so these people don't get born again. And then there's another group that I believe is um, a thorny ground, uh, right? Where it is that the thorns choke up the word as soon as it starts to sprout. It's people who are initially excited about the gospel. And then persecution comes and slaps them. Then they fall away. The third is the thorny guys, right? Uh, not thorns, the rocky ground. Uh, rocky or thorny. I stand created between the two. But these are the guys who the cares of this world just take them away. Then there's the guy who bears fruit. Uh, uh, 30-fold, 60-fold, and 100-fold over. These are the guys that are going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Well, TikTok operates very much like the path where the, the gospel is dropped. Do you understand? People hear the word and they might be initially excited and even follow you. But then the devil immediately takes the word away because they put them inside a mukbang. They put them inside a, a, a food um, video. They put them inside a sewing video, a carpentry video. They put them inside a, uh, a, a, a face beat video. They put like all like you as a person have got to be intentional about your own soul. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And so therefore, TikTok is not a safe environment for Christians. And it is also what I imagine to be a useless uh, space for um, Christian evangelists trying to snatch these kids from the flames of hell. Because what happens is your content rocks up there. It edifies people. And the same people, if they stay inside TikTok, if they stay inside TikTok, you might as well just be throwing bread into water and causing it to be soft, mushy and inedible. You are wasting time. I'm not saying every Christian TikToker should leave TikTok, but I'm saying you will find out at the end of the ages that if you are a Christian evangelist on TikTok that the, uh, and many other platforms, that the, great, the greatest amount of retention for salvation into eternal life will likely have not even come from TikTok. You will find that it is the people you reached on YouTube, the people you reached on, um, on Facebook, the people you reached on your personal WordPress account, your blog, or even uh, the street. If you're a street evangelist, it'll be those people that entered into the kingdom of heaven because of your witness. You will literally learn at the end of the ages that the majority of people you tried to snatch out from the flames of hell inside TikTok, most of them came to your space, got excited for five seconds, left and never either never came back or when they came back they were hostile and because they were allowing themselves to consume all this darkness um elsewhere the goodness of god's word was taken away from them they it, it, it was extracted and so they never actually uh ended up um what is this grounded in the word and now here i'm very busy and i'm trying to get my life restored back to me i am beleaguered on all sides there's a lot of persecution encircling my life and so for those reasons i cannot afford to be wasting copious amounts of time uploading content on a platform where i'm not really truly actually successfully rescuing souls for the kingdom of heaven and the thing about being a small content creator as well that is under so much attack and spiritual abuse as well is that i every so often get witches coming at me and they are actively trying to thwart and block my content so again inspiration to keep on pushing and moving where it is that i am appreciated so a platform where people leave and the devils that have been exorcised out of them roam around in dry arid places and then come back with seven spirits more wicked than they and the same follower comes back and unfollows me ends up up hating me ends up putting witchcraft on me wreaking havoc in my life i cannot deal with it at this point in my life i can't deal with the level of persecution that comes from people who start out liking me and then they change and go awry because they have not guarded their hearts for from them flows the issues of life i i'm not gonna stay on tiktok where people are gonna end up abusing me who didn't initially abuse me and they don't even understand why they're so abusive. They don't even understand why all of a sudden they're hostile towards someone they started out liking. I, I was met with that phenomena on TikTok where God showed me the TikTok uh, logo being crushed up like a Coca-Cola can. And he's telling me this is ir irrevocable. There's no coming out of this. You are just going to get increasingly more persecuted by the TikTok audience if you don't leave this platform. Because the very same people that you started out edifying are going to be the ones to boycott you. And this is because they have allowed themselves to roam the rest of TikTok, get muddied in their core by the content they're in, and then come back hostile against you. Next part.